CataractCoach.com. Severe suit exfoliation and zonulopathy. How would you remove the cataract and secure this IOL? Let's watch this case carefully. So look, as BSS is going inside the eye, there's movement of the lens nucleus. The whole nucleus moves. And that's just when you're instilling anesthetic inside the eye. So here comes the viscoelastic. Don't overfill. Now a malugan ring going in. And be careful inserting this. Here's the malugan ring. I like to put a chopper through the side port so you can put, in, put that last ring on all at once. But there you go. All done. Get that centered up. Now, interestingly, look at all the wrinkles in the lens capsule. So you know the zonic support's weak because the whole nucleus is moving and you got a tremendous amount of wrinkling. Look at the wrinkles there. That wrinkling sign is a warning sign to you. This is global zonular weakness, not just one quadrant, all of them. So completing the rexus here, looks like perhaps maybe four and a half millimeter rexus, maybe five millimeters, that looks pretty good. Now, hydro dissection, look, the whole nucleus has movement. This is a little unnerving, right? So our guest surgeon here, Dr. Guillermo Amesqua from Baskin Palmer, Miami, is a fantastic surgeon. He's going to do a case here where he's going to put capsule retractors in. So put a, a couple of retractors in to hold the capsule as you remove the nucleus. So then that's a smart move. Notice how the capsule retractors are a little bit different than iron retractors. The ends are more likely to give good broad support. They're a little bit longer, and they're not likely to puncture through the anterior capsular rim. So there's the nucleus, and you can see the whole thing just kind of wants to move. This is a case where maybe you don't want to rotate it too much, but rather just get the pieces split and bring them up. Get them out of the capsular bag. Again, very weak capsular bag. This is, of course, a very tricky case. Now, if the capsular support is this weak, and back is the question, how would you put a lens in the eye? Are you going to put a lens in, in the bag? And or are you going to do what I would normally do is I'd do a capsule tension ring in the bag, of course, and then a three-piece eye well with the haptics in the sulcus and then the optic captured through the capsular rexus. I think that'll give you good support. You also take, you take into consideration how old is this patient? If this patient's very, very old, let's say 90 years old or so, you know, you don't have to have your lens positioning last for 20 years. But if the patient's 50 years old or 60 years old, then you know the patient needs to have some sort of lens attachment so that it's going to hold up for many decades to come. So cleaning up the cortex here, you can see, look at the oval shape of the rexus because of those two capsule hooks. And look how narrow that opening is. So this is tricky. You've got to operate within that small opening. Coaxial works fine. I think even a, for me, I'd probably do a bimanual approach. Well, this is a tricky case here. Very tricky. This is really, really stressful for a surgeon. And so cleaning up the capture bag, you obviously want to clean up as much as you can because you don't want to have too much phimosis or contraction later. Here's filling up the capsule bag. That makes it look a whole lot better. And so filling up the bag, beautiful. And now here comes a CTR. Again, I like to hold the leading part of the CTR with the Sinsky as it's being delivered, but that's going in the capsule bag all over, all around. Looks great. CTR. Now, for the lens, you know, this is not going to be tremendously stable. This is going to have a lot of motion or movement to it. So again, that's why I like a three-piece. I like the haptics, the sulcus optic captured. I think that'd be a good move here. But you can put the entire lens in the bag, and it looks like that's probably what's going to happen here. I do like that it's a three-piece lens instead of a single-piece lens, and that's going to give us more options for refixation later. Maybe the patient's going to come back in 10 years, you'll need to suture something or do Yamane, and you can obviously convert with this because it's a three-piece lens, so more options, a lot more flexibility, easier to suture it in place. What if you want to use a belt loop technique? So I think it's a very reasonable approach to do it this way, and then let's see how a patient does. And if you need to come back to fixate it to the sclera using a belt loop or other technique, you can certainly do that. Now leave a comment below and let me know what you would do in this case. How would you remove the cataract? And how would you secure the IOL? Tough case, but a beautiful outcome. Thanks for watching.